Hello everyone, thanks for joining this session. Now I will present my work with the title of State Aggregation Approach for Solving NAPSEC Problem with Deep Reinforcement Learning. I will first introduce NAPSEC Problem and then the Deep Reinforcement Learning Approach for Solving it. A state aggregation method is used for deep reinforcement learning to reduce the state space and let the model to solve larger problem instances. Finally, the experiments and the results uh, show the performance of the proposed method. Let's start with some background on knapsack problems and deep reinforcement learning. Basically, in knapsack problem, there are n available items, each has a value or profit and a weight. Uh, the knapsack has a capacity constraint, and uh, the goal is to fill the knapsack with the items so that the total profit is maximized and the total weight does not exceed the capacity constraint. There are two main types of knapsack problems fractional and zero one. Fractional knapsack problem is not a difficult problem and it could be solved in polynomial time. On the contrary, the zero one knapsack problem is MP complete and we focus on this variant in this work. Since this problem is hard to solve and it can be modeled as sequential decision-making problem, we opted for deep reinforcement learning to solve it. This method has been very successful in solving combinatorial optimization problems during the last few years. An overview of the proposed method is shown in this slide. First, a set of knapsack problem instances is used to learn an aggregation strategy. And then the same problem instances are used in an active search process using deep reinforcement learning to find their solution. At each step, a problem instance is chosen and then the items are added to the solution uh, one by one until finding the final solution. Uh, then the solution is saved and another problem instance is chosen to be solved. I will explain the details of these two boxes in the next slides. First, the deep reinforcement learning based knapsack problem solver. Uh, the solution obtained from our method is a constructive solution. Here, an instance is chosen to be solved, and then an item is selected according to the deep reinforcement learning policy. After selecting the item, its weight is compared with the capacity. If the item can be added to the knapsack, the capacity, the number of items, and the solution value are updated and the item is removed from the problem. Otherwise, only the item is removed uh, without updating solution and capacity. After either cases, uh, the items and the capacity are checked. If there are more items uh, to be checked, to be considered, uh, the same process is performed for the next time, for the next items. Otherwise, the solution is stored uh, if it's better than the previous best solution. And the next is the instance is chosen for solving. As mentioned before, we use deep reinforcement learning to solve the problem, and so uh, we need to model the problem as Markov decision process. A state in our modeling is a vector uh, containing values and weights of items, the capacity and the number of items, and an action is selecting an item. Reward is defined based on three different cases. Uh, when the item does not uh, exist, probably because it's already selected and it's removed from the problem instance, the reward is a large negative value to penalize these actions. If the item can be added to the solution, the reward is positive. And if the uh, weight of the selected item is larger than the capacity, another negative value is considered as penalty. Advantage Active Critic is the algorithm that uh, we selected to solve this problem. Basically, in Advantage Active Critic, uh, two, uh, two neural networks are trained, one for policy and the other for value. And the parameters of these two uh, neural networks are updated using uh, the uh, formula that you can see in this slide. Uh, you can also see the uh, formula of advantage function, which is the expected value of temporal difference. Uh, the second part is state aggregation algorithm. 
I will explain the static aggregation using a running example. This table shows four problem instances with different number of items. In fact, each row corresponds to a problem instance. These original item information could be used as states. However, uh, we aim to reduce the number of unique value in each column to reduce the state space. Uh, first, in order to be able to compare the information of different instances, the values and the weights are normalized using the idea of greedy algorithm for fractional knapsack problem. Then, original values and weights are replaced uh, by the norm normalized one. Then, the columns are sorted in the way that the item with the highest normalized value locates in the first two columns. The item with the second highest normalized value in the second two columns and so on. In this stage, we know that uh, values and the weights of the most, let's say, valuable item of each instance locate in the first two columns. Now we want to map the values of each column uh, in the way that the number of unique values of that column uh, is reduced. A set of pins uh, is defined on the values of each column, and the goal is to uh, learn the most appropriate number of pins in order to reduce the state space. The values in a bin is mapped to its label, and the assumption is that uh, bins have approximately equal number of items. Let's focus on the first column of uh, the running example. Assume that we want to map the values of this column into two bins. These two bins uh, could be defined in this way, and the values could be mapped to the labels of the bins. In this case, the unique values of this column reduce to two, from four to two. This is a difficult problem, and the evaluation is very expensive because the learning should be done for each state representation. And then uh, we can figure out what is the performance of this state representation. The reward is also delayed because the number of pins of each column influence on the number of pins of other columns. Hence, in order to solve this problem, we use tabular reinforcement learning. Uh, in this modeling, states are columns, and an action is the number of pins for that column. Reward consists of three terms. First, the size of state space uh, should be reduced. Second, it's preferred to have bins with almost the same length. And third, the number of common values between two bins should be reduced. Uh, tabular Q, Q learning is used for solving this problem, and the Final policy uh, determines the number of pins for each column. Three type types of problem instances are considered for evaluation. Random instances, fixed capacity instances, and the so-called hard instances, which are proved to be hard in the literature. Uh, two measures for comparing different algorithms are average value of solutions and the number of optimally solved instances. Based on this table, for all instances, uh, instance types and instance sizes, deep reinforcement learning with uh, aggregation works better than deep reinforcement learning without aggregation and also greedy algorithm. And uh, also one work based on pointer network in the literature. In order to show that the difference between the solution value of different algorithms is significant, we plot the distribution of the optimality gaps. As you can see, the solution obtained by deep reinforcement learning with aggregation have considerably a smaller optimality gap. In this presentation, I explained uh, an approach for solving knapsack problem with deep reinforcement learning and uh, also with state aggregation. The purpose of state aggregation is to reduce the state space in order to make the algorithm uh, powerful enough to solve larger problem instances. As a future work, we plan to extend the uh, algorithm method to other combinatorial optimization problem and uh, see the, explore the possibility of this uh, extension. And that was my presentation, and thanks for listening.